pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit, and today I have another pen unboxing for everybody out there. So I have a number of pens from this company already, but this one happens to be in a nib size that I don't have and that I've been really curious about trying for quite some time. Uh, and I'll get a little bit into that uh, once we get this guy unboxed, but yeah, super excited. So hopefully you enjoy. Okay, so as you can see, this is another Sailor Pen. I really, really love this brand. I just find the writing experience to be a lot of fun, and I love the colors, and it's just, I, I don't know, there's just something about a Sailor Pen that I really enjoy. Now, I do have a number of different nib sizes, but this one I've never even gotten the chance to try before, uh, and I'm very curious as to what the writing experience will be, so fingers crossed. <laughs> And here it is. Oh, it's so shiny. Okay, hold on. Let me get that last tag off. Oh, I hope it's picking up. Can you see the sparkle? Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Ooh. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. I am already in love with this thing. <laughs> okay, so friends. This is the Sailor 1911 Light uh, in the Shining Blue colorway. Now I have a Pro Color that has a black sparkly body and I flippin' love that pen. I just think it's gorgeous. I have it inked up all the time. And when I saw that they had something kind of similar but with a gold nib, I just, I couldn't resist. Seriously, give me a sparkly pen from Sailor and I need it. I like need it. I love all of their sparkly pens. I think, I think I have another one. Oh, the Dragon Palace. I also have the Dragon Palace. It's, you know, not a 1911 uh, cigar shaped pen, but the uh, Pro Gear Slim, but I don't care about that. I care about the sparkle and the sparkle, it wins. Uh, anyway, so this one is that gorgeous sort of dark, bluey purple and it is in the extra fine uh a 14 karat gold nib is this in focus are you are you would you please there we kind of kind of no well anyway it's supposed to be in focus uh and it is an extra fine nib and i can see from here it is it is wicked fine <laughs> um i thought the fines were like insane but this is like crazy. And I'm a Japanese pen fan. Like I have many extra finds in Pilot and I still think the, these, the, I, I still find that the Sailor finds are kind of crazy. And now this extra fine, I'm just, I'm very excited to try it. Um, and I have a couple of inks that I'm really excited to pop in here anyway. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I've been waiting for, for the last couple of weeks. And I just think it's such a fun little color. It's just, I don't know, it's this blend between blue and purple that I really, really enjoy. Uh, and I don't have any other pens that are quite this shade. So it's nice to have something like entirely new to add to the collection. 
Uh, I do want to give you guys sort of a little comparison to the other Sailor pens and then a couple of other cigar shaped pens from uh, different brands that I also like just so you can sort of see where this lands but I am already very excited even without <laughs> getting to do the uh, writing sample which I'm sure is kind of ridiculous but I don't care I love the way this looks already so yay okay hold on one just a second okay as I mentioned the Sailor 1911 light does have a uh, 14 karat gold nib but the pen that really prompted me to pick this one up is this Pro Color. Oh, I still I still love this pen. This is one of the first sailors that I picked up and I still write with it pretty regularly. Uh, anyway, this one does not have a gold nib. This one is just the standard stainless steel uh, and I have it in fine, but I still adore writing with it. It's just a beautiful pen to, and it feels really good in the hand and just a great one altogether, but I love how the sparkle shows up on this and I was hoping that I would feel similarly about this one in the shining blue. I do think the sparkle does pop a little bit more on the black one. I think, yeah, yeah. oh, you totally can just see it even from here, uh, but it's still very much visible. It's just not quite as drastic a sheen but it does have loads and loads of sparkle it's much more subtle uh, and you can see these are pretty much the same size the big difference would be besides the nib of course and then that this one has um, gold uh, accenting is that there is like the little um, extra band at the bottom of the body uh, whereas this one's just all together now, uh, I also have a 1911S, which you can see it's really the same pen, um, uh, but the designations are different between light and S on the Japanese sailor site. So, you know, uh, when I was looking at the dimensions, it they look pretty much the same. Uh, maybe I'm misunderstanding any of the uh, information on the website, but it, it looks to be essentially a very similar pen. This one also has that 14 karat nib, uh, but it is again in the fine rather than the extra fine. So, and I do enjoy this one a lot. Um, I don't find I, that I ink this one up quite as much as my, uh, pro color or the next couple of pens they show you, but I do really, really like it. I don't know why I don't use it quite as much. Uh, my two other sailors, if you want to compare size, I have the Pro Gear Slim, and this is in that Dragon Palace. And I think this one is a similar kind of subtle sparkle. Uh, you can see it's in this really beautiful sort of greeny jade. There's a tiny bit of, well, not really tiny. There's actually a lot of gold sparkle. It just isn't as in your face as in the uh, Pro Color. But yeah, I would say this one has about the same amount of sparkle and sheen as the new 1911 light. And you can see how that goes size-wise or how it compares. And then my final Sailor pen that we're going to show is the uh, Pro Gear Slim Mini. I love this pen so much. I use it all the time uh, and it's in that beautiful iron gray just oh, just so pretty uh, and this one is in um, this one has an MF nib and it just it's just delightful to write with it seems super duper small when it's all capped like this but when you post it feels just like any other pen really comfortable to hold in your hand and it's just, it's just super cute. It's just really stinking adorable. Um, and also has that 14 karat nib uh, with the gold, with um, gold accenting and everything. So really the only one that doesn't have gold accenting is the pro color. I do tend to be a fan of like gold toned things anyway. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that all of my um, sailor pens tend in that direction or really my fountain pens in general. But here you can see the size differential 
from Itty Bitty Baby. And these three are like the difference, I would say, is almost negligible uh, if there is one at all size wise. Um, but you can see how that works. All right. If we want to compare the size of the Sailor 1911 light with some of my other more traditionally cigar shaped pens from other brands, uh, I think they shape up to be quite similar. This is the Platinum 3776 with the pink celluloid. Oh, I love this pen. It's so pretty with that like almost scaly looking pink and just just really lovely. Uh, but here is how it measures up next to it. It looks like just a couple millimeters longer, maybe, um, but very, very close. Uh, this is the Pilot Custom 742. And this one will definitely be larger because it is that sort of middle size. If I just had the Custom 74, it would be much closer, but I don't actually have one of those. Uh, but you can see how that measures up. And then my last uh, of my regular use cigar shaped pens, this is the Estabrook SD, and it's quite a large pen as well. A little bit bigger than the Custom 742, probably more along the lines of like the 743 probably. Anyway, so this is really how it stacks up size wise. I would say it's probably the shortest of these, though again, I don't have the uh, smaller Custom 74, so that one might be, you know, even closer in uh, dimension, but they're all, again, pretty relative in size. I have a fairly small hands, and I, this is one of my favorite pens, and it's the biggest one, and I usually hate big pens, so I would say any of these, if you prefer like a slightly smaller pen, will work for you. Um, and I can already tell you that this one feels very good in the hand. It feels very comfortable. Of course, I don't have it inked up yet, uh, so balance may change, but I can't imagine it changing all that much. Uh, there's very little step down, so it does not bother me whatsoever what there is. Uh, and yeah, no, I feel like this one is shaping up to be just as excellent a writing experience as any of these other cigar shaped pens or any of my other, um, sailor pens. Okay, so while I know that this pen is technically called Shining Blue, it does sort of lean a little bit purpley, and I'm in a purple mood, so I decided to ink her up with Sailor Shikiori Fuji Sugata, which is a really lovely um, kind of muted purpley tone, and I think it's going to be really, really perfect in this pen, and I think I'm going to reach for it a lot, so here goes. Okay, so this is a very, very, very <laughs> fine writer. Um, it still puts down a nice line of color, but man, it feels different even from the fines. Not in a bad way, but just definitely different. Um, you definitely get feedback, but again, more pencil feedback than scratchiness. I would definitely not describe this as a scratchy nib. Uh, you could see from the dry time there, uh, I think even with a fairly wet ink, you're going to have a pretty quick dry time. Now, um, I 
think that Fujitsugata sort of falls midway as far as like super wet or dry. Uh, but you could see like there's very little smudging and that was seconds after I had put that X down. Uh, so it, it's laying down so little ink that for better or worse, quick dry times will probably be a thing, which I think if I use this in journaling, especially on the go journaling, I will be absolutely ecstatic about that because I do tend to forget to put my blotter paper with me and then I end up with like splooches all over the place and it's just like it's not it's not a pretty sight uh my journaling pages afterwards so I do think if I use this it will be very nice um yeah I I, I am really enjoying this I think besides just like standard journaling I think taking notes this would be great like in meetings and whatnot because it does dry so quickly <laughs> yeah it's it's very it's very fast drying um even when I put a little bit more pressure where you get a slightly thicker line there, you can see um, I don't tend to push all that hard with my pens, but with a little bit of pressure, I was able to get a slightly more intense line out there. But even with that, it, it's, it's, it's not going anywhere. Uh, so if that's, if quick drying time is something you're looking for, I definitely think that this might be a good one for you. Um, I'm not sure that I would ever put a dry ink in here. Uh, I 100% would not recommend putting a shimmer ink in here. Uh, I very rarely put shimmer inks in any of my sailor pens. I get a little bit antsy about that. But with my like medium fines, even some of my fines, I have put like sheening inks in without much trouble at all. So uh, there is that to think about. If you happen to be one of those people who absolutely adores shimmer inks, this this pen and nib combination might not be for you. Uh, but yeah, other than that, like I'm really loving this. I'm very excited to bring this to work on Monday because uh, I'm 100% going to use this in meetings that I have during the week. And it's going to make me smile because again, I love purple. And if it's just in my notebook, no one's going to care that it's not black or nearly black. Um, but yeah, oh, this is, this is great. I am so happy that I decided to pick this up. I was honestly just kind of curious about the whole extra fine experience since I'd not done that at all before, but I'm really quite thrilled. Uh, so yeah, this, okay. So this has been my unboxing size comparison and writing sample for the Sailor 1911 Lite, um, with the extra fine nib. So I am really very much looking forward to adding it to my rotation and I hope that this video has been in some way entertaining, interesting, useful. If it has, please do consider hitting that like button. It definitely helps out the channel or you could even consider subscribing. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much. You are absolutely awesome and wonderful and all the good things. Uh, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye-bye.